I want to talk today about the value of life. Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. Headbangers Brew in my mug this morning, our mug of the month. Onward Christian Soldiers, our mug, our poster, our t-shirt, and our coffee. And I have some announcements to make very soon. I know, it's getting exciting. And you can get all of that right here. We are metal, we are family.com. So, dear Pastor Bob, it seems that a lot of Christians have moved on from the pro-life, anti-abortion fight. Are there more important issues at hand or should we be fighting it more strongly? It's a great question. And you know, it, it seems that we go in stages. We fight one thing and we fight it intensely and then we find something else. And these days, there's a whole lot of things to fight. There really are. But did we move on from this one? No. In fact, we need to get stronger. Why? Because folks, the value of life is at the core of every issue we could ever discuss. It is at the core. And the value of life is the primary issue. So it's the issue that every other issue springs from the value of life, what is it worth? And how do I begin to look at my life and how do I begin to lay the foundations of value? I wanna go right to scripture today. Old Testament in the Psalms 139 verses 13 through 16. It's a familiar scripture that you might know, but man, is it ever important. He says, for you formed my innermost parts. Listen, and even if you've heard this scripture a thousand times, I want you to listen to it again, okay? You formed my innermost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will give thanks and praise to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being formed in secret and intricately and skillfully formed as if embroidered with many colors in the depths of the earth. Your eyes have seen my unformed substance and in your book were all written the days that were appointed for me when as yet there was not one of them even taking shape. Really good scripture on when life actually begins. You know, there are a lot of people with a lot of, I guess, opinions on this. You may be one of them, you know, and you say, well, a woman has a right to her own body. She really does until it also becomes somebody else's. And uh, a woman has a right not to have sex and become pregnant. In the case of rape, I'm so sorry. It's a, it's a horrible thing. The Bible talks about rape and it talks about it in very strong terms. It's a horrible thing. But a baby is never horrible. A baby is always a blessing. And even though the circumstances may not be great. Yeah. So when we look at life, we realize that it is the foundation of everything. The value of life is the foundation of everything. And folks, from the very time that you decide to have sex and you become pregnant, and it's not just a woman's responsibility, it is equally a man's responsibility. From that first time that you decide to have sex, and a child is created, you have a responsibility because it's not just you. It's a new person being formed, according to scripture. 
You know, this is a tough one. And it's tough because, well, people fight for their right to do whatever they want to. And they say, well, it's not murder. And, you know, this is just a, a blob of tissue, not according to this scripture. But, you know, nobody's ever come up with a really good definition of when life begins. Does it begin at conception? Well, this one, the scripture would, uh, would seem that way. And let me say that if you are pro-abortion, then you better have decided when life begins. Because if life begins at another point that you've decided, it is murder. You are taking another life. It's a big deal. Do we keep fighting this? Yes, we do. Because it's a big deal. Because on this issue is every other issue. Every other issue. The value of life is at the core of every issue. And if we forget this one, if we don't continue fighting this primary issue, we lose every battle along the line, like we're doing now. It starts with this one, the primary issue. When does life begin? And how do I treat life? How do I treat it? Do I treat it with dignity? Do I give everyone an opportunity to live or not? Questions that you have to answer and questions that you ought to be asking. Well, folks, don't forget you are blessed. So go and be a blessing.